I felt the need to send this message not because I think I am better than you, but because I think this message is very important and it will serve as a good reminder for all of us, me being the first. Unfortunately, I have seen a lot of lack of love online from certain people from all the different Christian denominations, from Eastern Orthodox, Catholics, and many Protestant denominations as well. And the Oriental Orthodox churches are not guiltless of this either. I understand that we have theological differences, and each denomination is entitled to its position. You believe something for a reason, and therefore you are entitled to your opinion. But why all the hate? Make no mistake, I am not advocating an ecumenism without truthful theology. Truth is the person of Christ himself. And therefore, theology and dogma are not something that we can pass as secondary. But we have to speak the truth in love. You're a Christian, no? What is the purpose of your theology? If it is not lived, it is a waste of time. If you really believe in the one Trinitarian God, then you believe in the importance of unity, unity in truth. So true faith does matter. However, if you don't have a place in your heart for your neighbor, how can you listen to what he has to say? And if you don't listen to him, how can you have a conversation? The only way to find unity while upholding the truth is to humbly and prayerfully sit down and discuss with one another. Unity will not come by bashing one another from behind a camera. That's just sad. Is that how Christ would deal with this issue? Is that how he approached the Samaritan woman or he was able to win her over to the truth through his love and compassion? Have I become your enemy because I am from a different Christian tradition? Well, God said, love your enemies. Let's start there. But I don't think we are enemies. I think we have a lot in common. But we have to sit down and humbly and lovingly discuss our differences. We are Christians after all. Christ humbled himself to the point of death and the death of the cross. So we have a responsibility to imitate him. And if we imitate him, we might actually get somewhere. If you don't think unity is important, then with all due respect, I can really, really question your theology. Remember, again, God is Trinitarian. I am a Coptic Orthodox Christian priest, and I say this to fellow Copts before anyone else. I am not better than you. I also am in need of repentance.